So I'm in the car and we're on our way up the mountainside to go see how wasabi is farmed. Yay! This is for the Shizuoka flavor of Kit Kat wasabi. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how wasabi's grown. The waters are supposed to be magnificent, so let's check it. This is lovely Marcio, who's our driver, who's been amazing. Marcio, come home with us. about a year, year and a half, so they're soon to be harvest. All this water comes down from the tops of the mountains here, and it's like natural hydroponics. It's amazing. Hello, my lovelies. It is day two in Shizuoka, and this is the ocean. Beautiful. And check out those formations. Aren't they great? They're made out of concrete. Oh my goodness. Check out this playground. It's like a kid's dream. Boom. Ship. Yep, playground, water, sand, and a pirate ship. <laughs> so I am at a wasabi products factory and they have been making this product called wasabi zuke, which is a kind of like fermented wasabi product and they've been making it for over 140 years. So here's the shop front and then I'm going to take you on a tour. Check out the giant wasabi. Japanese garbage truck. Check out the brooms on the top. Love those. They're like little witch's brooms. Here's the factory portion, but sadly, operations have stopped. But here's a little video of it. So I'm gonna go down here. Here is some history. There's the giant wasabi. Look at these guys. These guys are studs. And here's some more history. Here's the production line. Here's some preserved wasabi. Look at the size of this guy. Holy smokes. It's 18 months old. Love this little vignette where they show the wasabi growing. Okay, of course. Terrace mountains like we saw yesterday. Little water wheel. What else? This is pretty cool. This is a room where you can experience the wasabi intenseness. They spray like wasabi oil in there so you can kind of sense what the workers sense when they're making the wasabi zuke. Good morning, lovely. So this is my first day here in Nagoya. And the Goya itself feels a lot like, you know, Tokyo. It's a big city. But I am inside a cafe where I'm gonna have an open toast tasting. And yeah, see if it all tastes like the Kit Kat bar. But check out this chandelier, oh, yeah. This place is amazing. Apparently this is what they look like. Look, first you have to go through this small doorway. And you enter this kind of cavernous space. It almost looks like a movie theater. And this is like a traditional kisaten, which is where you have your ogura toast. Look at this lighting. In case I didn't get it before, the beautiful chandelier. Hi, I'm in Kimono. This is the first time I've ever worn a kimono and I'm doing it because I'm going to learn how to make matcha tea in a sort of traditional tea ceremony type setting. So look at this. Stop. 
step into these shoes. And then I turn my shoes around. We are in Kyoto, action Uji City, and we are at the Nakamura little tea sweet shop. And this place is beautiful. Look at it. First actual day of sightseeing and we are at Nara and Nara is known for its deer. I mean, look at all these deer and they're so docile and sweet. Well, if you don't feed them, apparently they chase you if you feed them. Hey guys! Say hello! They're everywhere. <laughs> So this is it. This is our last little bit in Japan. We're leaving this afternoon. My family and I are going for our last little walk, trying to stretch our legs, get some fresh air before we get on a long flight home. I'm tired and I'm ready to be home, but it's been great to be in Japan. And yeah, I hope to come back soon. Mm -hmm. 